The Surinam toad, also known as Piba Piba, is a remarkable amphibian hailing from the freshwater habitats of South America. Its peculiar appearance, reproductive behaviors, and aquatic adaptations make it an endlessly captivating subject. Let's delve deeper into the enigmatic world of this toad and uncover the fascinating intricacies it offers. The Surinam toad is not your typical garden variety amphibian. Its flattened body, leaf-like shape, and drab coloration enable it to blend seamlessly with the bottom of freshwater bodies. The toad's tiny eyes, lacking eyelids, and star-shaped sensory organs on the fingers further accentuate its distinctive look. One of the most striking characteristics of the Surinam toad is its uncanny ability to camouflage. Its flat, brown, textured body mimics the appearance of leaves or detritus on the water floor, providing an effective defense against potential predators. Unlike many toads that spend time both in water and on land, the Surinam toad is almost entirely aquatic. It possesses slender, webbed feet which not only aid in swimming, but also play a critical role in its unique reproductive process. Arguably, the most captivating aspect of the Surinam toad is its reproductive behavior. The ritual begins with an intricate mating dance. The male produces a clicking sound, possibly to attract the female. Once they mate, the female releases eggs, which the male fertilizes, and then presses onto her back. In a phenomenon that might seem surreal to many, the female's skin grows over the eggs, effectively embedding them in pockets on her back. Post-fertilization, the embryos develop into tadpoles within the pockets on the female's back. After a development phase lasting several weeks, fully formed toadlets emerge from these pockets. Witnessing the young toads emerging is an eerie yet enthralling spectacle, often likened to something straight out of science fiction. The Surinam toad, like many of its amphibian counterparts, has a carnivorous diet. It primarily feasts on small invertebrates, crustaceans, and worms. Its hunting strategy is intriguing. Rather than actively pursuing its prey, the Surinam toad is more of an ambush predator, relying on its camouflage and swift reflexes. Fortunately, as of my last update in 2021, the Surinam toad is classified as least concern on the IUCN red list. However, it's worth noting that like many amphibians, they are sensitive to environmental changes. Factors such as water pollution, habitat destruction, and climate change could potentially impact their populations in the future. The natural habitat of the Surinam toad extends across several South American countries, including Brazil, Colombia, Guyana, Suriname, Trinidad and Tobago, Venezuela, and the Amazon basin. They predominantly inhabit slow-moving freshwater bodies like swamps, ponds, and marshes. Unlike many other toads and frogs, the male Surinam toad lacks a vocal sac. This is significant since in most amphibian species, the vocal sac plays a pivotal role in amplifying mating calls. Instead, the Surinam toad produces sounds using a specialized mechanism involving its hyoid bone. In conclusion, the Surinam toad stands as a testament to nature's ability to surprise, adapt, and fascinate. Its distinct appearance and unparalleled reproductive behavior highlight the myriad wonders of the animal kingdom. The Surinam toad is a perfect example of how even lesser-known species can offer profound insights into the marvels of evolution and the intricate tapestry of life.